Hello and welcome to Commencement Stories, Maymester Edition. All of us up here are graduating seniors, graduating on May 10th, and we all have two things in common. One, we all went to New York for the 2017 Maymester, and second, and most importantly, all of us have jobs upon graduation. And just to explain what the Maymester is, it's a two-week program where students can travel to a variety of different cities. We all went to New York, and the reason I liked it so much is I had the opportunity to network with a lot of high-level executives where I got to learn about what they're looking for in recent graduates. I think that was really my first introduction into the tech industry and getting to visit companies like Facebook and LinkedIn was super exciting and experiencing that world and then also personally just interacting with the other people on the trip and we're still friends today. I think one of the cool things about Maymaster is that Obviously, we get to visit a lot of companies that you kind of know are going to be cool, like, you know, when you go to the NBA or the New York Times or something like that. But I think you also get exposure to a lot of different companies that, like, are in different industries that you might not have on your radar. No, it's a great point because when you think of the Trojan family, I think a lot of people think it's California mm -hmm. or Southern California centric. But when you're able to go to the Maymester in New York, you realize how big and wide the alumni network actually is. I definitely have to give a lot of credit to the Career Development Office for figuring out what companies would be best for our 18 person cohort over that two week span. You know, as great as Maymester is, it's just really a small part of our career development in our four years at USC. Um, I know for me, I was fortunate enough to have a ton of internships um, kind of outside uh, my academic work, working for the NFL, I got to work for the LA Clippers, I got to work for Wasserman, a big agency uh, out in Westwood. Jacqueline and I actually had the opportunity to go abroad in London, which I think did a lot for, personally, for my independence, having to navigate other cities and countries and um, a new culture. And so, I mean, I think Jacqueline can also attest to that. Not only do we, you know, build our careers on campus, but we also went overseas to study um, journalism in other countries. And then, of course, travel a lot. My favorite has to be working for NBC Sports out in South Korea for the 2018 Winter Olympics. I know Matt was out there with me and just being a part of what is the biggest sporting spectacle in the world for that year is such an unbelievable opportunity for anybody that wants to get into the journalism, communication, media industry as a whole. Still can't believe you guys did that. That's actually insane. <laughs> also just learning how to be a leader. I've had the opportunity to network with a lot of individuals and had amazing internships at companies like NBC and E! Entertainment and PMK BNC and I've also had the opportunity to serve as the co-director of Women's Leadership Society. One of the things that I feel like I'm walking away with is I feel like I have a really nuanced understanding of kind of how the entire media landscape operates um, and that's something that you can apply to really any industry. And I think one thing I'm leaving Annenberg with is that when I walk into any newsroom for the rest of my life, I'm going to feel confident. I mean, we're sitting in a world-class newsroom right now, and I've tried every job out there. So I've had the opportunity to write for Annenberg Media Online. I've had the chance to work for our radio and podcast desk and produce all the shows that they do. But my favorite part has been working for Annenberg TV News. And then actually this year, I started my own Instagram show where I'm profiling female entrepreneurs. So I just love that you get to really own your interests. You know, you don't walk in here and they assign you you really get to pick what you want to do. You know, in addition to giving us kind of a comprehensive education, Annenberg has definitely honed our analytical skills, and I think comm is a great example of that. Um, all of your entry-level comm classes are grounded in theory, which kind of focuses on how and why people communicate. I think it's similar in PR for sure. Definitely that intersection of problem solving and storytelling and a lot of creativity involved. So as I said before, one thing the four of us have in common is that A, we all love each other, and B, we all have jobs after graduation on May 10th. So I'd like to go around and have everybody kind of tell their story. Jacqueline, you want to start? Yeah, so after graduation, I'm going to be a production assistant with the Today Show in New York. Upon graduation, I'll be working at Twitter. I'll be doing media and entertainment advertising. I'm going to be joining the National Football League in Manhattan um, in their sponsorship department. I'm lucky enough to be working at ESPN at their headquarters in Bristol, Connecticut upon graduation starting in July. I think one thing also we all four have in common is that we all utilize the Trojan Network. Trojan family's real, you just gotta use it. Thank you all for watching Commencement Stories, Maymester Edition. On behalf of the four of us, we'd like to thank all faculty, staff, and professors from Annenberg that have made our experience so special over the last four years. And we're really excited to bring everything we've learned here and take it out into the real world. Fight on.